Damn, man, I thought you guys were gonna be heavy hitters over here. Since I left Ink Master, all I've been hearing from everybody is, you should have won, man. I'm tired of hearing that. I want the title. I need the title. Nervous? Oh, no, now. A little bit, yes. A little bit. Should be a little bit nervous. I'm ready for this, so. Today, you must tattoo a peacock. Oh. With so many colors and textures to capture, precision is essential, or your peacock will go from bold to blur. Peacocks are so challenging. There's thousands of feathers, a million little lines, multiple layers of texture. You can easily screw up. My strategy is to stay under the radar, make sure I do clean stuff, and just ride it as long as I can. Today, you had to show precision by tattooing a peacock. Gian. You did a really crisp, really clean, really beautiful tattoo. You made those little puffy areas in the neck, and then when you drop down to the actual tail feathers, you outline them the same way. In a stylized world, it's a much closer take on a peacock feather. The flower slash mandala, you executed each little section beautifully. As far as precision, this is what an outline has to look like. This is what the color has to look like. Hopefully, some people behind you learn from you. All right, guys, best tattoo of the day. Just on technical application, line work and color, it's Gian all day. Yeah. That's Period. exactly where I'm sitting. There's no debate about that. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Gian. Congratulations, man. Thanks, guys. Today, you must transform your canvas's significant other into a pinup. I hate this challenge. Pinups are usually a disastrous day in this competition, and I'm not feeling good about it. Your canvases have brought along their better half, who they idealize. You must use ingenuity to show the rest of the world how hot they are, or how hot they think they are. Pinups are incredibly easy to screw up, especially if there's significant others in the room looking over your shoulder. It's unnerving. It throws you off balance. So you want it, your husband, driving a car in your arm, right? Exactly. This lady's skin is pretty stretched out, and it's gonna be tough to tattoo. Do you want him to look just like he looks now? Do you want him to look when you guys met? A little more hair. <laughs> all right, all right. I've been top since I've been here. You can see that there's not too many people left, so I do not want to be in the bottom. It would suck to make it all this way and not go to the top five. I feel like I'm so close to making the cut, I can't mess it up now. But well, how do we do a male pinup? That is a great <laughs> question. I've never done a male pinup. I got the worst canvas in the room. I got the older couple. It's a tricky tattoo. I gotta do a car, I gotta do a pinup. I'm just thinking how I'm gonna make a car look good on her arm. Look at that. On the little car. White highlights on the metal. I wouldn't. All right, let's keep it simple. I just got married. My wife, she's actually one of the most supportive people I know. I wouldn't be here without her for sure. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it, time's up. Machine's down, no more ink. It's a good looking dude. I'm really happy with this tattoo. You with me forever now. Today you had to show ingenuity by transforming your canvas's significant other into a pinup tattoo. Dion. One of the things I like the most about this entire tattoo is how you dealt with the couple. It was obvious that you were working hard to give them the best tattoo. You definitely could have talked them out of the car, but you didn't. And you gave yourself a tough tattoo to do, and you did it. And what I think you really captured is how proud this dude is sitting in front of his baby. It has soul, and that shows a lot of creativity and a lot of ingenuity. I love this thing. All right, guys, time to discuss who had the best tattoo of the day. Today, I think thinking out of the box and the ingenuity challenge, John just sends home a really strong tattoo. It was the perfect design, the perfect application. Had you fumbled on that or anything, then immediately I would be with Ryan. Ryan's ability to capture that face so perfectly in a one-inch portrait is something that not many people can do. But the thing with Ryan's tattoo is we expect to see a beautiful female figure on pinup day. Gian got this challenge that everybody else would have just panicked under the pressure. But to take that idea and really shine is pretty phenomenal. My vote's for Gian. 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 
Judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Gian. And you are the first locked into Oliver's top five. Congratulations, bud. Let's give it up for your finalists, Gian Carle. <laughs> Let's check in on Gian. Buddy. John, you're the only guy to make it to the final three. I am. How does that feel? Feels okay, man. I mean, it's kind of weird to be up here, but I'm excited. Now, America assigned you Japanese. Is that the style that you wanted? That's the style I wanted for sure, man. I mean, you guys said at the beginning of the season, if you can't do Japanese or traditional, you can't be Ink Master. So. I'm wow. trying to prove that I can be Ink Master. That is bold. Step Cameraman. Outside my comfort zone. Let's get in there and take a real close look at Gian's tattoo there. Right, let's take a look at these things. All right, welcome back to the Ink Master season finale. The finalists have all finished their live tattoos, and voting is open on Twitter. Gian, step on up, man. Gian, America assigned you Japanese. Let's hear what the judges think. And I'm gonna go to Chris on this one first. Well, Gian, the tattoo is beautiful, man. The drawing, really, really nice. I really love the elements you put in. You did a great Japanese tattoo. One of the best ones we've seen on Ink Master. My question to you, did you finish? Did you get finished? What, did I get finished? Yeah. I finished it, yeah. The spots are finished? The what? The spots? No, we left them negative. Because hey I, didn't now. Want, I needed, I needed well, a little bit of skin through We're not going down this, this there, road again, you know? are we? <laughs> One third of skin is the law of Japanese, so I needed it in there. Ollie, what are your Mike. thoughts for Gian? Well, Gian, looking at this tattoo really close up, it is super clean. The outline is unbeatable. Saturation of the color is really solid. And the layout of the design is really nice. It fits her leg, and it's, it's, a, it's a pretty big tattoo, and you've got a lot of detail in it. Um, Great job, man. Great job. All right, Gian. Let's see your master canvas, man. Let's see that tattoo. Wait. Take it off. Let's reveal it. Oh! Gian, what was your plan here, man? I mean, that was a tough ask from Kelly. What was your plan? That was a what? What was your plan? You know, um, I was really nervous at first, but after thinking about it, I was kind of excited, you know? It just gave me an opportunity to show that I'm very diverse and that I got what it takes to be Ink Master. Yeah. All right, Chris, what are your thoughts here, man? Well, Gian, all season long, you've done consistently beautiful tattooing. You've never been in the bottom, Oliver pointed that out, and you have steadily been able to really push your craft and really show people that you know how to apply solid tattoos that heal really well. Uh, this tattoo is really strong from you, man. The color palette on this is dynamic. It's strong. It has a lot of beautiful detail to it. Uh, the standalone skull, the placement of it really, you know, it shows itself. It doesn't get lost in the piece. And I think you did an overall beautiful tattoo. Thank you. Oliver, thoughts for Gian? Well, Gian, the first thing I'm going to say is that this challenge of doing a watercolor coral reef was insane. And you were set up to fail, but you instead you turned it around and you did a beautiful tattoo. And for, for, those, that, for those people that might debate whether this is a watercolor tattoo, I want to remind them that every piece of Sailor Jerry flash on the wall is a watercolor painting. So, so this is how tattooers watercolor. Tattooers watercolor with outlines, tattooers color with black, and this tattoo has that soft, fluid color blending that really looks like a painting that we would do. Not what people are thinking of a watercolor painting that would be in a museum, but the detail in this tattoo is amazing. The outline is solid. The color saturation is beautiful, man. It's a, it is a top-notch tattoo. Thank you. All right, Gian. Thank you. Today, you must create a fine art tattoo. Oh, interesting. Ooh. 
From Cubism to Impressionism to Renaissance oil paintings, these famous art styles have some of the most recognizable techniques in the world. The biggest challenge about this design is that I gotta make this thing huge. If I make it tiny, I'm not gonna be able to fit all these little details in there. You are killing it. Yes, you are killing it. Girl. Why, thank I mean, you. You're amazing. Katie's a uh, guy there, so look at him. Today, you had to prove your creativity tattooing in a fine art style. Gian, your canvas wanted an Aubrey Beardsley-inspired Art Nouveau. Great artists know how to leave these little uncomfortable moments in paintings where at first glance, you can look in the middle of his drawing and you can kind of be uncomfortable because it's empty. But then you look at it longer and you like it. The black, you really packed it in. Everything is super smooth. The saturation is where it needed to be. It's a great tattoo. Thank you, guys. That's that. Judges, it's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Gian showed us top quality of what can be done with line work on skin. Creativity-wise, Bob definitely pushed himself out of the envelope. They're both badass, but my vote is Gian. My vote is for Bob. Gian laid it out for himself where he gave himself absolutely nowhere to hide. And he did it, he nailed it. My vote is for Gian. We have two votes for Gian, one vote for Bob. Nico. I'm a color guy but I have a hard time doing line work that crispy. My vote goes to Gian. Hey man, good job, man. Thank you, guys, thank you. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Gian. Congratulations, you are safe from elimination. I'm sure these guys need no introduction. Ah. This is for real. We're surrounded by some of the best ink masters in ink master history. It's one of my favorite artists. Nice to finally meet you, Gian. That's really nice to meet you. DJ Style has influenced my work over the years. Man, I mean, just seeing him, I'm kind of starstruck. It's going down. It's going to be fun, man. If you want to join the League of Winners, you must prove that you can match or even beat their skills. Damn. Wow. Shit, dude. For this elimination tattoo, each of the Ink Masters will pick a style. Oh. You must tattoo in one of the styles called by the Ink Masters. While you tattoo your canvas, the Ink Masters will also tattoo at the same time. Oh, head to head. Head to head. In Critique, your tattoo will be directly compared to the Ink Masters tattoo in the same style. No pressure. Fail to match the master, and you must face off. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's okay. Insane. This time, these artists are amazing. They're throwing people in the mix that already know about tattooing under the gun. It's gonna be way harder to trip these artists up because they've been through this before. Gian's followed my work for a long time. He does super clean, neo-traditional tattoos at home daily. So I know he's gonna keep up. Crazy being back in the day, you know what I mean? Like I know. Uh, it's a honor to tattoo just with you in the same room. I'm going for a leopard, man. It's a likable image. I'm gonna keep it simple. Winning that $250,000 would be amazing. But going up against DJ and beating him at this style, dude, that's priceless, man. Today, you had to tattoo in one of the styles called by the Ink Masters. If you were able to beat or match the Ink Master, you are safe from elimination. All right, Gian, let's see how you did. You found the biggest dude on the yard, and you went after that dude. Yes, 100%. For me, DJ being one of my favorite artists of all time, going head to head, that was the way for me to just step out of my comfort zone. I think you nailed this tattoo. They're super clean. The shape of the tattoo, the details at the bottom, ripping through the mouth, the eyes, I like them all. Thank you. When you really zoom in on the whiskers, they are lined really nicely. That is so hard to do. 
Did Gian match the Ink Master? Two completely different takes on neo-traditional, but absolutely equal in terms of quality and integrity. Gian, you definitely match the master. Gian, match the master. You definitely match the Ink Master. Woo. Gian, you match the Ink Master, and you are safe from elimination. All right, man. Thank you very much. Woo. Oh, man, thanks, bud. Bob, Gian, DJ, Creepy Jason. Congratulations on making it to the top four. Thank you. Thank you. You now have a one in four shot. Yes. At walking away with $250,000. That's a lot of money, dude. And the title of Ink Master. Woo! All season long, you've battled against straight up legends. To prove you're the best of the best, Get ready for one of the toughest challenges in Ink Master history. God damn. I don't like the sound of that. Each of you will be assigned a master canvas. OK. You will have a total of 24 hours to tattoo a back piece. Woo, yes. In two back-to-back 12-hour -back sessions. Damn. 12 hours of tattooing on day one and 12 hours of tattooing on day two. Yeah, that's a big deal, though. This is the most back-to-back -back tattooing <laughs> ever tackled in this competition. Your master canvases are completely open. Excellent. You can tattoo anything you want. Yes. And any style you want. Yeah. Oh, anything? Oh, that's pretty oh, yeah. wild. This is your second 12-hour session for your 24-hour back piece. And your time starts now. And it's probably one of the best back pieces I've done. Woo! Nice. We're racing today, guys. Woo! Oh, We're So you did go in color, huh? Oh, yeah. And he's doing amazing. If I do this in black and gray, it's not going to win. I'd rather have an unfinished tattoo that's in color that I swung for the fences. I'm giving it my all, leaving it all here. Five, four, three, two. One, that's it, time's up. No more ink. We finished it. That looks great. All right, it's time to check out the 24-hour master canvases. <gasps> wow. My god. This is only 24 hours to tattoo him? You would never know. Gian, let's start with you. Tell us about your tattoo. I went back to my roots, super neo-traditional, which is my style. Beautiful, as big, as bold. This tattoo is a bold statement, and it really is stunning. It is put in the skin very, very, very meticulously. Legibility is the most important part. It can be recognized from two blocks away, and you utilized every inch of the space. Sick, beautiful, easy to read tattoo that is your style. It stands out. You nailed it. DJ, Gian, one of you will walk away with $250,000. Damn. And the title of Ink Master. That's the one right there. Judges, it is now time to determine the winner. It's kind of hard because you have two amazing pieces of art. One's really creative and thought outside the box, and then one straightforward tattoo. God, this is a hard one. This is the worst, actually. I would rather be eliminated. Let's debate it. I cannot deny how absolutely stunning and striking Gion's tattoo is. The most successful part is how that beautiful raspberry red fades into that gorgeous pink. But look at the tusk right there. Yeah, it's just kind of like choppy. choppy. And it's inconsistent on every single area that Gion blends the color into the skin. You could start nitpicking literally everything. That's not nitpicking. I'm going to be honest, it gets a little repetitive in the warmth. Mm -hmm. because there's no other color other than warm colors in it. I would have liked to see a splash of blue in there somewhere. Something different to make the orange different than the red. <laughs> There's imperfections, but it looks sick.